Current year direct tax collections are likely to be muted. Indirect tax collections are may likely to hold up based on the December and November numbers. So overall, there will be a less amount of tax collection than was budgeted in, the, in this current year budget. Overall focus the, for the government, therefore, has to be on the growth because growth drives the tax collections. I am looking at infrastructure as one of the areas that government may like to look at for growth enhancement. Private sector contributes almost like 22% of uh, infrastructure spending. If the government can think of uh, tax consolidation or group tax filing approach, which will basically mean that uh, the various SPVs under the same group are fi filed the tax return together, which would basically mean also that uh, uh, the SPVs, if there are losses in a particular one, could uh, offset those losses with the ones which are making profit. And that would mean that the private sector would have more money in their pocket to boost infra spending. I'm also looking at the real estate sector for the growth boost. Real estate sector not only gives growth boost to the core sectors, but also gives uh, employment opportunities at, the, at all levels. I would suggest that the government should uh, bring back or enhance the interest on borrowed capital for the, uh, for the housing, which will give more uh, opportunities to the middle class and the lower middle class to spend and buy a house. The impact of uh, a spending on the interest by the government will be uh, with a multiplier effect of 0.45. Whereas for the core sector, it will be a growth impetus with a multiplier effect of 2.45. So there will be, there is a different, different uh, positive arbitrage for the growth. I also suggest that uh, the government should look at uh, IFSC uh, in a different manner. IFSCs around the world have uh, different tax rates. One of our competitor IFSC, uh, Dubai, has uh, no tax for the next 40 years. Maybe the government can think of it because uh, that would also boost uh, finance flows into the country, which will help uh, the infrastructure development. With all these suggestions that I'm making, though they are very few, the country would be able to collect a lot more taxes in the future and offset what has happened during the COVID period in terms of the tax collections. Thank you.